Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have uh, a full automatic AC voltage regulator. And to be honest, I didn't know I had one. I bought this at least five years ago when I needed my uh, 110 volt for one of my uh, projects. And well, here we have 230. So I needed something to convert the town. So I was actually just looking for a transformer on my uh, local eBay. And uh, this is what I found. I think at the time I pay around uh, 35 euros, which is almost the same in dollars. And I didn't give it much thought. I just worked with, with my project. The 110 volts was good and I put it away somewhere. But now I was reorganizing uh, the LED and I was thinking, wait, it says full automatic AC voltage regulator. I think it's a little bit more than just a transformer. And then it also says servo motor control system. Uh, okay, now I want to see what it is. It's uh, quite big. It is about uh, well less than 10 inches, 25 centimeters. It is here. It's six and a half and almost 17 centimeters. And the same is the depth. And it is auto stack from Dectron. It's servo motor control, full automatic AC regulator. So and it is for a thousand watts or one kilovolt amps and well the fuse is 10 amps so that makes sense for 110 uh, three outputs 220 220 110 and you can put your input selector if the expected voltage on the input will be between 180 and 240 or the expected voltage is for 50 all the way up to 130. I read about it a little bit more. These are actually still available, but when I look at it, it really looks from the 80s or the 90s. And I found an old flyer and they already mentioned the DVD. Uh, stabilize audio TV equipment, including DVDs. So I think, okay, that was at least after 95, I think the DVD was, uh, was developed so 95 96 so late uh, 90s and uh, yeah nowadays of course you would just do this with an uh, ac power source like i have here where is my power source it's from matrix and it can do from 0 to 310 volts depending a little bit of course on the input voltage because what they do they rectify the ac on the input and then they regenerate the sine wave and the nice thing about it is that you can change your frequency what in the past of course they could not do i will be using that to to mimic that my input voltage uh, is very low but this one is uh, is older it doesn't have all that uh, technology yet so you cannot uh, change the frequency but it is a very smart transformer that um, yeah, can stabilize the the net so how did they do that so okay i made a little sit up here on the primer i will do the input voltage uh, this will be the 220 output here and this will be the 110 output here so i will at the power i do this from my ac source because later i want to reduce the voltage well here we can see 230 on the input and uh, that is possible the switch is here between 160 or 180 i can't really i think it says 160 and all the way up to 240 that should regulate it so will that do it does it even still work so switching it on we hear a noise so that is probably the servos yeah what does the servo do we will have a look later so what i will do now is because this works i see here 230 on the input i get a nice 220 here and a 110 there exactly as we expect so what if i reduce the voltage now let's go to 220 and we hear a sound that is the servo So our input voltage is now 200 volts instead of the 230 that we started with. But the output is still around, is 220. 
and the 110. Let's lower it a little bit more because it should be able to go down to 160. And you see, it is responding in half a second or something. We go lower. We go lower. And it is still able to maintain its voltage more or less. So this is great for if you are in a country where the power is not that good or your wires are terrible. Of course, you need to check your wires. But sometimes you're in a situation that it is what it is. But you still want proper voltage. But we also can go higher. We can hear it adjusting. I don't want to go much higher than the 240 that it is made for because I'm not sure if it will run out of uh, servo and but we see here to almost 240 volts we are still at the 220 and 110 well every time I change the voltage I can hear the servo doing something but I wonder how fast it will adjust so I will switch now the I will switch off the AC power source I will set it to 230 and then we listen how fast it will adjust. We see here on the input we are around the 230. We are on the output exactly on the 220 and the 110 that we just cannot see but 110 right there. So the meter here should also be exactly here on the here on the 110 and the 220 so I like to adjust that too and maybe we can even think of adjusting it to 115 and 230 but actually I like that I have a uh, voltage regulator that can do 220 for my real old equipment that is not made for 230 so let's open it up so Let's have a look. Ooh, almost looks like a big Fariac. Look at this. Huge transformer. It seems to be also a, a Fariac because it's here. You can see that it is sliding here. Uh, my plug is out so I can turn it a bit. So it is changing the voltage like this. We hear the noise of the servo, but the servo in that time uh, yeah, they weren't steppers that we have now, but they just actually have here yeah, an electrical motor with a lot of wheels. Look at that. And it seems that, well, here is just for its own power supply for its own power and here are the little electronics just to measure if it is below the set point or above the set point and we can adjust that here so if I want later to have 230 and 115 on the outputs I can adjust it exactly here and we can maybe have a look on the chip what it is and from what year because it should be after the DVD, so after 95, 96. And this voltage meter right here can also be adjusted because it was a little bit off. Because it said it was 115 while it was actually 110 or 230 instead of 220. Okay, same setup. I only did the 220 because the 110 was exactly half. Uh, this is my input voltage. I'm going back to the... 230 and we can see here the servo so let's change a bit the voltage let's go lower and we can see if we go lower it is just like the variac so this electronic just turns this electrical motor
that is pretty cool. They have some sort of a Fario transformer and they just adjust it automatically and it is reasonable uh, fast. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at the electronics. Okay, we are having a look at the servo control system. It seems a DC motor also because of the colors and they need to go backward and forward with this little motor. So I see here the transformer. Also we see here a little rectifier. We have here two caps to equalize the power of it. Then this looks like an old audio I see. I'm not sure if you can. It's here. Maybe if I remove the pin it's better visible. Yeah here it looks like this half once and I know in the past that these were usually audio or how the old op amps looked in that time. So they are maybe measuring the voltage right here. Because if the, I don't know where it runs on, 5 volts or 9 volts. Yeah, and when this voltage goes up and down, the main voltage also goes up and down. So I think it's, it's possible to measure it like that. So then they just measure the DC and then they compare that and they probably compare that somewhere here with the set point that we do here. And then it just tries to get it the same. So okay, I think the servo already did a good job trying to keep the 220 but of course when it goes down it goes let me see let me go down a bit more it adjusts again so we could say it needs to be a little bit higher but when I go up we have exactly the same and then I prefer it doesn't go too high but I, I will adjust because that I can do right here. I can do a little bit up. We can see here the output is already changing. But then when I go up, it probably goes up too much. So I leave that as it is. So now I'm going to focus on the meter in the front here. I want that exactly to 220. And there is another pot right here in the top. That's it. I'm going a lot, lot lower now than I supposed to go. 72 volts on the input without switching my input. So I'm at the end of the servo. But here I have the 50 volt and here I have the 50 volt. So if I go up now again, then I know for sure I have my scale. So now I am at 110 or 220. And that's about right because I have 160 here and 160 there. I have 110 and I have exactly 110 on the scale here. And then I go higher, higher, higher. And then the servo should start working. Pretty cool. And you can see that between the 160 and the 240, it stays exactly in its position. Wow, that was pretty uh, impressive, I must say. I, I look up the ICs and uh, the half one was actually a motor driver, not the op amp. The other IC was the op amp. I think it was a quad bipolar. And uh, the motor driver is specially made for uh, DC motors. And the date of the components were 88 and 91. So the flyers I found from uh, with DVD on it, so 95, 96, they were probably newer than this device. But after a good clean, it looks amazing. Look at this. And 
I'm really impressed by with a with sort of a fariac connected to an electromotor that they were able to do this. It's uh, pretty smart. Yeah, look at that. All oh, it looks almost like new. I'm really amazed. The owner before was apparently very uh, nice with it. It has no scratches, nothing. I just did some Windex and it is shining like new. Wow. Well, on eBay they are still for sale and uh, the website of the company also still exists, but I didn't see any pricing there. And I'm not sure if it was also on Amazon, but they are still around 250 up to all the way up to 400 for the 1000 VI uh, model. So I didn't do a bad deal for 35. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.